we doing, guys? I'm definitely gonna have to get my ribs taped. I think that moose broke my nose. B.A.? Huh, well, you should see the other guy. What'd I tell you, Face? What'd you tell me? I'll tell you what you told me. This is gonna go down smooth, Face. A piece of cake, Face. Just a couple of goons with some camouflage paint who call themselves a terrorist group, Face. Yeah, in and out, one, two, three, with the girl and the money. No muss, no fuss. Huh? Right. Right. Well, I think I got a busted nose. Murdoch's lost some ribs. B.A.'s lost all his marbles. And, a very big and, I might say, we lost the money. We were supposed to come back with the money. What? Oh, great. The entire terrorist army on our tail, and we're out of gas. Well... Look at it this way, Face. We hit rock bottom now. The only place we can go is up. You're gonna let me go now or I'm gonna blow you all away. This is up. Miss Teasdale, I've heard you're a bit of a loon, but you really jumped the double yellow line with this. I have to get back to the compound. Hey, man, we ain't gone nowhere to hit the gas tank. I have to get back. Well, all you have to do is stand right there, and those guys will find you. It won't take them that long to mobilize. Yeah, I heard about cases like these, where the victim is actually assimilated into the group, and then the victim becomes sympathetic with the kidnapper's cause. You better give me the gun. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. That's just a homing transmitter. You have no idea what you've done. You've ruined everything. Well, you haven't made things all easy for us either. I mean, we were hired to rescue you from these creeps. Your father paid a huge ransom. He's concerned about your welfare. Yeah, right. Well, I don't know what family problems you have, but our job is to deliver you home safely, which we intend to do with or without your cooperation. But they'll kill Marcus. Oh, no. Who's Marcus? He was with me when you guys came and pulled me out of there. Now, look, I don't want anything to happen to him. You mean the guy that had you on the cot and ripped your dress? You're worried about him? You know, this story's getting too far out, even for me. It was just a show. We heard somebody coming, and we thought it might be one of the others. We didn't want anybody to find out. Uh, find out what? That Marcus and I love each other. <laughs> um, why don't we, uh, get the van out of sight before they spot it, and then we'll all try and get our oars in the water, and we'll all try to stroke in unison. I'll take the wheel. Okay, guys! Ah! They will not, I repeat, not get away. I can't afford to strike camp now. We've got three teams out covering this entire area here. They were in a van, so they can't handle any of the off-roading, which limits their possible routes. They obviously didn't know the type of terrain they would encounter before they got here. Which makes me wonder just how they located us in the first place. Somehow during the ransom pickup. Yeah, somehow. Too bad you were too busy to have tried to interfere with that attack. I don't need well, neither do I. enough, both of you. I want everyone assembled here in an hour, whether they're found or not. I'll take one of the jeeps and cover the northern quadrant. You will stay right here, my friend, where you can be watched. You want us to go and rescue one of your kidnappers from your other kidnappers. This is getting better by the moment. He is not a kidnapper. Marcus was my boyfriend before this whole thing went down. Yeah, sure, he was a member of the GLA. He believed in their philosophies. Their leader, Ramon, duped him into bringing me along for the weekend to see if I might understand what they stood for. Next thing I knew, Ramon had me under lock and key and the ransom demand went out. Most fathers get upset when their daughters are only taken to a drive-in. What, what did you do, win this date on some TV game show? Jennifer, you've just won an all-expenses-paid kidnapping with a terrorist of your choice. They used Marcus as a pawn. He just continued to play along with them once he realized the kind of fanatic he was dealing with. 
Look, Ramon was already beginning to suspect something. He, he's gonna think that, that, that Marcus helped me escape. Now, there's no telling what they're gonna do to him. You guys have got to get him out of there. Lady, all we care about is getting you back to your father. My father doesn't care about me. Look, lady, your father went through an awful lot of trouble and a whole lot of money to get us to find you. Well, of course he did. What else is he going to do? He can't have people thinking that a big tycoon like Warren Teasdale wasn't going to ransom his daughter back. He just readily finds out that you guys didn't get the ransom back. I'm sure your father could care less about the ransom money once he finds out that his only daughter is safe and sound. What the hell do you mean you lost the money? All of it? Well, um, yeah, it, it was all in the briefcase. Half million dollars. You lost a half million dollars. That was what you gave us. That was what the kidnappers took. Uh, yeah, I, I'd say we lost half a million dollars, but we did get you your daughter back. You said the money was just bait. The only reason I agreed to turn it over was because Smith said he would guarantee it personally. Yeah, well, you'd be surprised at the uh, unexpected turns one runs into in the field. I loaned you my money as a tool to retrieve my daughter. You lost it. Since the amount of cash lost exceeds our negotiated fee, I'm holding you all responsible for the difference. Wait, 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 wait. We pulled this off, and we owe you money? You provided a sloppy service, and you're facing a legitimate penalty for such. A business agreement is a business agreement. Thank you for getting my daughter back. Tell her I can't wait to see her. And you don't want to go home. <laughs>